I am such a freaking procrastinator that instead of going downstairs and having a laundry day, I instead went to the store and bought myself some undergarments. My procrastination astounds even me. I mean, that's quite impressive, huh? But you know, a wise man once said, and that wise man was Will Ferrell, by the way, that procrastination makes you older, therefore wiser, okay? I mean, I must be pretty freaking wise if I do say so myself. Hey guys, my name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel, Which Way to Wicked, where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. Okay, so guys, today we are going to be talking about what is it about you that other people are jealous of. Okay, so if you want to find out what is so freaking amazing and fabulous about you that makes other people green with envy, then you have come to the right place, my friends, because we are going to be getting into all of those spicy details. Okay, so so, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at your group picks today, okay? Hello, friends! So, here are your group picks today. So, for group number one, we have these Coca-Cola flavored Tic Tacs. And guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you, these taste more like orange Tic Tacs than they do Coca-Cola. So, that's quite intriguing if I do say so myself. But that is going to be group number one, okay? And then for group number two, we have this fun, cute little retro Tetris game, okay? And that's going to be group number two for my game lovers out there. And then last but not least for group number three, we have these chocolate Pockies, okay? So guys, I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath in. And now I want you to let it out. And now I want you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about what is it that makes other people so jealous of you? What is it that just sets you apart and makes you so freaking unique and fabulous? And then whenever you feel ready, please open your eyes. And whichever pile your eyes lands on first, then that, my dear, is going to be the reading for you today. Now, if you feel called to any other pile, then definitely check out those corresponding messages as well because guys, I mean, who doesn't like to hear the extra messages? And as always, I will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your reading today, friends, okay? Hey, group one! So, you chose these Coca-Cola or citrus flavored Tic Tacs, and hey, hello, friends! This is going to be your reading today, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and put this right here, and let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot cards, okay? So, spirit. For group one, what is it about my group one folks that makes other people so jealous of them? And guys, honestly, will you give me one second? I literally decided to have a couple of these Tic Tacs before we got into this reading. And it's really hard to talk with them. So, one minute. Mm. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is already so chaotic, but let's go ahead and get into the rest of your reading. So, Spirit, for Group 1, what is it about my fabulous Group 1 that makes other people so freaking jealous of them, okay? What makes people so green with envy? Okay, Spirit, can we get some extra cards, please? I feel like that one wanted to come through. <gasps> Guys, <laughs> we are having so so many good cards coming through. I am so excited for you. Okay, do I want one more card? I think we're going to do this. Oh, yeah, look at that one. It definitely wanted to come through. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I, I'm i trying to figure out if I want to clarify this card. Hmm. 
I think I do. Spirit, can we clarify the Eight of Swords coming through? Can we clarify the Eight of Swords? What is it that makes other people so envious of them? Ooh, okay, yeah, all right. That makes so much sense, okay? Let me put this right here. So, first of all, guys, for the cards that are coming through, we have the Four of Wands coming through. We also have the six of wands we have the will of fortune and the eight of swords and the eight of swords was also clarified by the fool card okay so guys first of all with this fool card coming through this does represent aquarius energy and then we also have a bit of fire energy coming through as well with the two wands cards coming through so think of the fire signs leo sagittarius aries so you could definitely be one of those signs, sun, moon, rising, or in Venus, or honestly, this could just represent the overall vibes that you give off to other people, okay? But first of all, we were asking the question, what is it about you that makes other people jealous, right? And first of all, I just think with the four of wands coming through, you are literally one of the funnest people to be around because the four of wands, this is literally the card of celebration. This talks about hanging out with your friends, hanging out with your family members, and just having so much fun together, going out and partying and having so many things to celebrate. And so I really am getting the idea that I feel like wherever you go, the party follows. I just feel like you are somebody who you have such an incredible amount of warmth to you. I feel like you're the type of person who you're very social and very just fun to be around. And I feel like you can make anybody feel just so comfortable whenever they are in your presence. And I think that, like I said, you are just somebody who, since you are very witty and fun to be around. People just love to hang out with you and I really feel like you have a ton of friends. But I think that in regards to what makes other people jealous of you, <laughs> sorry guys I feel like that sounded weird, but I really am getting the idea that I think people who are on the Shire side, I think that they could tend to be a little bit jealous of you and I'm talking about the type of people who are a bit more quiet they are a bit more to themselves and they have a bit of a harder time like putting themselves out there and talking to others and I think that they look at somebody like you who is this incredible social butterfly they look at you and just this popularity that you seem to have and all these friends that you know just follow you wherever you go and I feel like they are a bit jealous of you because they wish that they could be like you. They wish that they could have just a little tiny bit of your like outgoing personality, right? And honestly, this doesn't just have to relate to people who are on the Shire side. This could relate to absolutely anybody, even other outgoing people as well, because I feel like there is just honestly something about you where you just stand apart. I feel like even whenever you are in a room filled with other like outgoing people as well. I feel like even whenever you are with people, and maybe they're even funnier than you, maybe these people tell better jokes. I just think that you have something about you, something so warm and likable about you that sets you apart and makes other people like want to hang out with you more than these people who could even be funnier than you, right? And so I think that people notice that spark that you have. They notice this presence that you seem to have, this like magnetic energy. And I think that people are jealous of that because they wish that they could be like that. They wish that they could be like you, right? And I think that that is so freaking interesting and incredible to see. I really am getting the idea with these six of wands. I feel like you just have so many people that are celebrating you because literally this is the card of accomplishing something and having people like congratulate you and tell you how amazing you are doing. And I feel like no matter what it is that you do, even if you are literally like just tying your shoe. I think that people will come up to you and say like, oh my gosh, girl or boy, like you tie your shoe so good. Like, how do you do that? <laughs> I think that you just do like the smallest things and 
people just want to congratulate you. They want to like praise you for these things just because of how awesome you are, right? And I feel like people get so like jealous of you because of that. Because I feel like no matter what you do, no matter if it's like tying your shoe, no matter if it's you like trying to, uh, I don't know, uh, paint, like make a painting or something like that. I think that even if you don't even know how to paint, even if you just like draw like some stick figures, you would have so many people saying like, oh my gosh, those are the best stick figures I've ever seen. And I think that people get jealous of that because I really feel like there are people that are around you who uh, maybe for instance, um, going back to that painting, uh, example maybe there is somebody who is more talented than you maybe there is somebody who can paint like this gorgeous picasso looking type of masterpiece and then here you are with your stick figure and everybody is like congratulating you everybody is cheering you on and i think that it makes other people upset because there are other people that are trying really hard there are other people that uh could possibly be talented more talented than you but instead of them being noticed you are being recognized and i think that that is something that people sometimes get upset about that's something that people sometimes get jealous of right but it's honestly it's not something that you can help like i it's just the fact that you are so amazing you are so fun to be be around you're so just likable and I don't think that you are intentionally trying to steal the spotlight it's not like you're trying to make other people notice you I really am getting the idea that you are a very kind person you are a very considerate person and you care about others but it's just that you have that that freaking spark about you that makes other people notice you before they notice others, right? And that is definitely something that people get a little jealous about, right? And then with the other two cards coming here, this is really beautiful because the Eight of Swords, this talks about feeling very stuck. This talks about being very nervous and even pessimistic pessimistic about the future and you're so worried about what is going to be awaiting you that you don't even want to step into this future. You are so afraid to take those first few steps, right? And this usually talks about somebody who would rather stay in their room and hide under under their covers than go out and try to start something new or go out and do something that they've been wanting to to do for a long time because that would cause them to step outside of their comfort zone and all of those things, right? Excuse me, guys. But I feel like with the full card coming through, you know, the full card, this talks about somebody who is so excited about everything. This talks about somebody who looks into the unknown future, and instead of worrying about what is awaiting them, they are excited about it. This talks about somebody who they are just so youthful. They have the eyes of the of a child, and they are able to just see the magic in everything. And I really am getting the idea that you are somebody who instead of being afraid about what is awaiting you, you are like this full person so excited about the future. And I really am getting the idea that you are not afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. You are not afraid to step into the unknown. And I think that that is something that people are very jealous of because I think that there are so many people who are so pessimistic about what is going to be awaiting them in the future that they tend to hold themselves back and they keep themselves in this box. But I feel like you are somebody who you are not afraid and you do things that other people only dream of doing. And I just think that that is so beautiful and that is definitely something that people are jealous of, right? And I just think that that is so interesting to see. So guys, let's go ahead and take a look at your oracle cards, okay? So Spirit, for group one, what is it about them that makes other people jealous, okay? Spirit, for group one, my lovely group one folks, what is it about them that makes other people jealous? Wow, that is interesting. Let's get some extra cards, please, Spirit. What is it about them that makes other people jealous? 
Okay, guys. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I do think that I want to go ahead and just get my other cards as well. So, Spirit, for group one, what is it about them that other people are jealous of? Wow. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love the cards that we are receiving. Spirit, can we get another card, please? Can we get another card? Beautiful. Okay, guys. So, just taking a look at what is coming through, we have the Destroyer card coming through, and we also have Messiah, and then we have Masculinity, Play, Love with the Beautiful Heart, and we also have Lost, okay? Now, this is so interesting to see. So, First of all, with the Destroyer card coming through, I really think that this is beautiful to see because the Destroyer card, this talks about letting go of things that are holding you back. And this also talks about preparing for a new life, right? And so I feel like you are just somebody who uh, you are not afraid to let go of people who are holding you back. I think that you are the type of person who you are not afraid to say goodbye to things, say goodbye to an old job, say goodbye to old people in your life so that you can go after these new possibilities, so that you can go after these new uh, doors that you are so excited to open, right? And I feel like this is really talking about how you are just so powerful with the masculinity card coming through. You're very forceful. And like I said, you are not afraid to close old doors so that you can open up these new doors, right? And I think that people are so jealous of you because of the fact that there are just so many people who are not strong enough. They don't have this power to be able to let go of people who are in their lives. They they don't have this strength to be able to let go of a certain job or of a certain way of living because they are afraid of having to go out and start fresh. They are afraid of saying goodbye to these old people and having to go out and make new friends and meet new people. They are afraid of letting go of that safe old job so that they can go after a job that is not as safe but a job that would bring them much power passion, right? But I think that you are somebody who you are not afraid to follow your heart, group one. You are not afraid to get lost in the woods because I think that you are somebody who you just listen to your heart. You listen to what it is that you feel like you are being called to go to, right? And I think that people are just so jealous of you because, like I said, I think that they would rather stay in a place, stay in a relationship, stay in a job where they are not happy in but they feel comfortable in than, you know, go after the unknown and say goodbye to these people and step into a new life, right? And I just think that that is really cool to see. You are just somebody who you are such a doer and I really feel like you are just so freaking courageous. You have so much strength in spades and people, they just wish that they could be like you. They wish that they could have that type of passion. They wish that they could have that type of power and they wish that they could have your same amount of optimism, right? I really am just getting the idea that you are like magic made into flesh and I really just feel like you are like Tinkerbell, right? I think that you are just like a fairy floating around and flying and I think that you are just so positive and fun to be around. You're so playful like Tinkerbell and even a bit flirtatious and I really am getting the idea. I feel like you just have so many people who love to be around you. You have so many people who say they just want to be friends, but I feel like they want to definitely be more than friends. I really feel like you have so many secret admirers and you probably don't even realize it. And that is probably something that people are also jealous of too, because I feel like you are the type of person who you just have so many people that like you, that have a crush on you. And I definitely feel like there are probably some really sexy people that are crushing on you that 
other people are jealous of because they wish that those people could be crushing on them instead, right? And then with the Messiah card coming through, I just think that you are somebody who you literally come off as the Messiah. Like, you are somebody who you come off as a god, a goddess, and I think that you just have so many people that would follow you into the literal darkness if you ask them to, right? Because I feel like you are the type of person who, like I said, you are so positive. You know, you are always so excited about the future, and I really feel like you could lead an entire group of people into, like, the zombie apocalypse, and they would all trust you because you are just very trustworthy. You're very, uh, you're, you're just like a ray of sunshine, and I feel like people would feel so safe to walk with you into a freaking horde of zombies because they feel like so long as you say that everything is okay, then yeah, I mean, it's okay. Okay, right? <laughs> and I think that there are so many people that wish that they had that like star quality that you have. They wish that they could be a leader like you. And then at the end of the day, with this play card coming through, like I said, you are just so fun to be around. I really think that you are a bit flirtatious. You are just a really cool person to hang out with. And you just have so many people that want to freaking catch your attention, that want to go out and have a fun time with you and people just wish that they could be you honestly and that is why people are jealous of you okay so yes guys that is the end of your reading today I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime okay so I love you all so much and I shall see you all next time okay Mwah. Bye guys. Hello group two. So if you chose this fun and funky little Tetris game, then hey, hello friends. This is going to be your reading today, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot cards. Oh gosh, I feel like that was a really bad shovel, guys. But let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot cards so we can find out what it is about you that makes other people so green with envy, okay? So, Spirit, what is it about Group 2, my sexy, amazing Group 2 folks, that makes other people so jealous of them, okay? Can you help a girl out, please? Well, guys, did you see that? Did you see that? Those cards were coming out like crazy okay <laughs> wow okay guys so let's go ahead and take a look at your cards that are coming through Ooh, guys i love these cards so first of all we have the three of cups coming through we also have the five of swords we have the page of wands and we also have the queen of cups coming through as well i'm trying to think if i want to clarify the five of swords here Hmm, I think I do. Spirit, can we clarify the Five of Swords? Why is this coming through? Oh, gosh, guys. So, we are going to take the card that landed right here, like, that was on the outskirts, instead of this huge chunk of cards, okay? <laughs> because that was a lot of messages. <laughs> so, this is, wow, guys, we have the Two of Cups coming through. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, yeah, I definitely am understanding why this Five of Swords is coming through. Okay, guys, so first of all, just taking a look at the astrological influences that are coming through. With the Page of Wands, this does represent our lovely fire sign. So think of Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We also have the Queen of Cups coming through and the Three of Cups. So think of our lovely 
water energy as well. So I am talking about our Scorpios, Cancers, Pisces, okay? But you could be one of those signs, sun, moon, rising, or in Venus, or this could just represent the overall vibe that you give off to people, okay? But first of all, I find this to be very, very intriguing because we have the Page of Wands, right? And then we also have the Queen of Cups. The Page of Wands, this usually talks about somebody who is very young, very youthful, right? And then we have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen, you know, this is somebody who is a bit more mature. This is somebody who has wisened a lot and who is very just seasoned and they've learned a bit from life, right? And so to get these two cards together, I really think that you are somebody who you have a very interesting mix of uh, like this youthful and this adult energy coming through. And honestly, I'm just getting the idea that you are somebody who you are very wise, you are very experienced, but I think, and you're also very mature as well, but I think that at the same time, you are somebody who, no matter how old you are, even if you're in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, or so on, I think that you are somebody who, you just have this amazing childlike way about you. I think that you are somebody who no matter how old you get, you're just young at heart. And I think that you just have this spark about you. You are just so excited about the future. And I think whereas so many people, as they grow and age, they start to look at the world with the eyes of somebody who is a bit more pessimistic and they come to expect just bad things happening. I feel like you are the type of person who it's like you are aging in reverse. I think that you are just able to always see the good in others. You are able to see the best in every single situation situation and you are just able to be so positive and you are just so like bright and excited and so I think that that ability that you have to always be so positive to always be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel I think that that is something that people are very jealous of because like I was saying you know there are so many people that just carry a chip on their shoulder there are so many people that are always just seeing the worst in every single situation that they go through and that honestly just takes away a lot of their joy. And I feel like people are very jealous of you because you are somebody who no matter what hardships you experience, no matter what you go through, even if you are betrayed, hurt, bruised, you are always able to get back up, dust off, you know, your bruises and whatnot. And you are able to just still see the brighter side of every single situation. And I think that that is something that is so beautiful. That is something that people are just very jealous of, right? And I think that that's really cool to see, honestly. Um, and then we also have the Three of Cups coming through. And I really am getting the idea that you are somebody who is so fun to be around. I think that you are a very bubbly person. I'm getting the idea that no matter where you go, even if you are in a room filled with strangers, I think that you just have this beautiful, bubbly, charming, and sweet personality. And I feel like wherever you go, you can turn any stranger into a best friend, right? And I think that that amazing, just bubbly energy that you have is something that people are very jealous of because I think that they wish that they could be as uh, bubbly and sweet and kind as you. They wish that they could have as many friends as you do. And I think that people just wish that they could be the type of just social butterfly that you seem to be, right? I really am just getting the idea that you're just magic, right? And I think that that is so beautiful to see. And there are just so many people that wish that they could have even an ounce of that, like just magicalness that you seem to have, right? And then what I think is really, really beautiful is that we have the Five of Swords coming through. And I'm honestly getting the idea, since this is 
clarified by the Two of Cups. I think that you are somebody who, again, you are just able to see the best in absolutely everybody. You know, if you look at this, you know, this person, these people are like looking at each other with so much love. They are literally intertwined. And I feel like you are just somebody who uh, you have the ability to see every single beautiful thing and every single person. And what's so interesting is that the Five of Swords, this talks about being very pessimistic. This talks about getting in this like victim type of mentality and just seeing the worst in yourself. And I really think that you are somebody who you make other people feel so beautiful. You help other people see what it is about them that is so gorgeous and you help other people love themselves so much. And I think that people are jealous of that quality that you seem to have because they wish that they could also make other people feel the way that you do. They wish that they could make other people feel beautiful and feel loved, but this is just a quality that you seem to possess all on your own, and it's something that people wish they could have, but it's just, it's just a part of you, right? And nobody else seems to have that spark of just goodness, that spark of kindness and optimism that you seem to have. I really am just getting the idea that your optimism is so contagious. Your joy is contagious and you just make other people so happy whenever they are around you. And I feel like that is why so many people want to hang out with you because I feel like you are just the light in the darkness. And I think that you attract so many people who are in these darker places because they feel like if they are around you, then they can also start to feel very optimistic. They can also start to be very positive. And I think that you honestly just have such a huge like fan club. You have so many people that want to hang out with you, that want to be in your presence and soak up your love and light. And I think that people wish that they could have that same effect that you have on other people, right? But they can't because you are just something and you're just somebody who you are magic and that type of quality that you have, that gift that you have is something that so many people spend their lives wishing they could have, but they just can't because that's a gift. It's a blessing, right? And you just seem to have that blessing in spades. And I think that that is really, really beautiful to see. But like I said, that is something that people tend to get jealous of, right? So, yes. And I'm also getting the idea that you are somebody who, you know, the Five of Swords, this could talk about, like, petty arguments and disagreements as well. And what I find so interesting is that the Two of Cups, obviously these people are not arguing with each other. These people are having a good time. So I feel like even whenever people are trying to fight with you, uh, even whenever people are trying to make you unhappy, they're trying to get you to, like, lash out and get into an argument, I think that you are the type of person who you will prevail, you will still be positive, Positive, and you don't allow people to uh, cause you to sink into any type of unhappiness or sink into any type of argument, right? You are just the type of person who you remain so positive and happy and bubbly. And people wish that they could be like you. They wish that they wouldn't allow people to get them down in the dumps. And they wish that they could always just be this positive freaking social butterfly that you are, right? So that's really interesting to see. So let's go ahead and get some extra cards. Let's get some extra cards here, okay? I do want to go ahead and pull out our other oracle cards as well. So Spirit, for group two, what is it about them that people are jealous of, okay? What is it about them that causes people to get so green with envy, all right? Spirit, can we get some extra cards, please? Oh, and guys, I honestly don't think that I... I, I didn't talk about the Queen of Cups, did I? So the Queen of Cups, you know, this talks about somebody who so many people want to come to for advice. This is somebody who is willing to listen to what other people are going through. And this is somebody who always gives such good guidance. They give such good advice, right? And I feel like there's just this energy that you have. I think that you make people feel 
feel very comfortable around you. They feel like they can tell you anything that they are going through and that you wouldn't judge them, right? They feel like you wouldn't be cruel to them or that you wouldn't see them in any other way. And they feel like they can say these things to you because, again, like I said, you just are able to look at the world with such, like, with these eyes of love. And I think that people feel like they can come to you and talk about the worst things that they have done, the worst things that they have been through. And whereas they feel like other people would judge them and tell them that they are awful or that they are silly or that they should have never done these things, you are the type of person who you will look at them and you will say, yes, you messed up or yes, um, these things were done to you or this happened, but you are still amazing and you still can do so many amazing things, right? And I think that that is just something that people are jealous of. They wish that other people would come to them for advice. People wish that they could just have this amazing ability to make other people feel comfortable around them that you have, right? So that's really interesting to see. Now, taking a look at the other cards here, we have the detective card. We also have goddess. And then we have loneliness, wisdom, karma, and boundaries, okay? So honestly, guys, this is really interesting to see, okay? So I really am getting the idea with the detective card coming through. This says right here, great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out the truth. And we also have wisdom coming through. So I really am getting the idea that you are somebody who you are very intuitive. And I think that you are just able to look at people and see exactly who they are. You are able to tell what type of intentions that other people have for you. And I feel like you are the type of person who you can walk into a room and like read the room, right? You can tell if you're walking into a bad situation. You can tell if you are talking to somebody who doesn't have the best intentions for you, you can tell whenever people are lying. And I think that that is an ability that people wish that they could have as well. They wish that they could be as wise and intelligent as you are. They wish that they could just see things in the way that you see things, right? And I think that that again adds on to the fact that even though you act very young, even though you have this youthful energy to you, you are this Queen of Cups woman. You are very very wise and mature and I think that there is just something about you that makes you so freaking strong and so freaking just intuitive and you are just able to look at the world so differently than other people look at it right and I think that people wish that they could be able to see things the way that you do because they if pe people feel like if they could even just see things in half the way that you do then they would be able to greatly change their future or change the way that they are living right now and they feel like they could lead a better life right lead a more extraordinary life does that make sense and then we also have goddess coming through and so i feel like you are just somebody who you are very very beautiful you are are very sensual and again you are just a very loving person it's like you are love personified and I really am getting the idea that you are a very very attractive person and I'm honestly getting the idea that you just have so many people that are trying to ask you out on dates you have so many people that are trying to be your friend that it's like you have to set out these boundaries between you and them and I think that you are honestly have to reject some people. You have to tell people like, no, you seem like a really nice person, but I can't go out on a date with you. You know, I feel like you just have so many people that want to be in your life to the point to where I feel like you can be a bit choosy as to who you allow in your life and who you allow in your circle. And I think that people find that ability 
of you to be able to choose your friends and to pick the people who are in your life to be so amazing because some people don't have that ability some people don't have all these droves of people that want to hang out with them um, they're not able to have it like 20 different people that are asking them out on a date and these people feel lucky just being able to have one person that's interested in them and yet here you are with all these admirers with all these people that want to be friends with you and i'm also getting the idea that you are just somebody who with this loneliness card coming through i think that you are not afraid to be on your own i really am getting the idea that you have so much love and confidence for yourself where you don't feel the need to have all these friends or you don't feel the need to be in a relationship and I think that people wish that they could be like you, they could have your confidence, they could be independent like you, they could be alone and not feel lonely. And then with the karma card coming through, at the end of the day, I really feel like this is talking about how because you are such a good person and because you are always able to see the good in others, see the good in the future, I think that you are able to attract all this good karma to you. And I feel like you are just somebody who all of these lucky things happen to you all the time. I really think that you just always have good things coming towards you and good things happening and people wish that they could have that same amount of luck and they are a bit jealous of you because of the fact that you are just so lucky and you always have these amazing opportunities and things coming towards you and people wish that they could have those good things coming to them as well so Yes, guys, at the end of the day, I really think that you are just such a beautiful and attractive person from the inside and out. You are somebody who you are very wise and very mature, very experienced, but at the same time, you're very young and youthful and excited and optimistic about the future. You are also somebody who can talk to anybody, who could turn any stranger into a bestie, and at the end of the day, you are able to make other people feel so amazing, feel so beautiful, feel so loved, and you are also able to just see everybody for exactly who they are. And at the end of the day, you are just able to make people feel like no matter who they are, no matter what they have to offer to somebody else or to life or even to themselves, you make these people feel like they have so many things to show to the world and bring to the world and I think that that all those things are why people are jealous of you right so yes guys that is what I'm seeing for you today I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of terror tube again sometime okay so i love you all so much and i hope that you have an amazing rest of your day friends okay Mwah. bye guys hey group three so if you chose these yummy chocolate pockies and hey hello friends this is gonna be your reading today okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put this right here and let's take a look at your tarot cards today okay so spirit for group three what is it about my lovely group three folks that people are jealous of okay what makes them so freaking amazing and awesome and incredible and just every other good name in the book, right? Let's see what wants to come through, okay? Alrighty, guys. Wow. This is interesting. Let's get another card. Oop. Okay, I think that wanted to come through. Wow. Okay. So... This is really interesting. For the back of the deck, we do have the Page of Cups coming through. And then we have the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Swords coming through. I think I do want to go ahead and clarify the Nine of Swords card coming through. I do want to go ahead and just get the Page of Cups and set that on the side. Because that was our original back of the deck energy. So Spirit, can we clarify the Nine of Swords? Can we clarify the Nine of Swords? What is this representing? 
Wow. Okay, yeah. And then, will we click? Can we clarify the Ten of Wands, please? Okay. And then I guess, since I did clarify those, I think I'm just going to go ahead and clarify the other ones. <laughs> Because, guys, I mean, come on. We already clarified two of them. Let's clarify the other two. Can we clarify the Ten of Pentacles? Okay. And then can we clarify the Six of Swords, please? Yeah. Okay. I think that is making a lot of sense. And then for the back of the deck, again, for the second time, we have the Five of Pentacles coming through. Okay? So I put the Page of Cups back over here. But anyways, guys, just taking a look at the astrological signs that are coming through with the chariot this does represent our beautiful pisces energy we also have the magician coming through and this represents our um gemini energy our virgo energy okay and then we do have quite a bit of sword energy coming through as well with the nine of swords and the six of swords so think of the air signs gemini's aquariuses and what's our other air sign gemini's aquariuses and libras there we go so you could be one of those signs sun moon rising or in venus but that could also just represent your overall energy, right? So, guys, just talking about the messages that are coming through, I really am getting the idea that you are the type of person who I think that instead of allowing fear and anxiety to hold you back, because that is what the Nine of Swords represents. It represents fear, it represents anxiety, it represents being worried about the future. I feel like you are the type of person who you are always able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I feel like you are the type of person who you don't allow fear, you don't allow any type of negative emotion to get you down. And I feel like you are the type of person who you also have people within your life who are supporting you. You have people in your life who you love, who you are very close to. And I really am getting the idea that these people are very encouraging to you. These people are the type of folks who are always encouraging you to be optimistic about the future and to never um, let any negativity get you down. And I really am getting the idea that you have so many important people within your life that have helped you become the amazing person that you are today. And I really am getting the idea that people are jealous of you because they wish that they could have people within their life that are so encouraging. They wish that they could have the same people to help them whenever they are going through harder times as well. And I feel like people are jealous of you because you are just the type of person who you are always able to see the brighter side of every single situation. You are the type of person who, with this magician card coming through, I just think that you see the unlimited potential, um, not only in your future, but you also see that unlimited potential within yourself as well. And I think that there are just so many people who are jealous of you because of the fact that you are the type of person who you look at yourself and you love who you are. You look at yourself and you see somebody who is deserving of so many amazing and incredible opportunities. And I think that because you have this confidence, you are able to attract so many amazing things and so many opportunities. And I feel like people are jealous of you because there are so many people who they look at themselves in the mirror and all they see is like these negative things they look at themselves and they can pinpoint all these things that are wrong with them and I feel like they wish that they could have your confidence they wish that they could have this self-love that you seem to have and they wish that and they could not only be excited about who they are, but that they could be excited about their future. But I feel like there are so many people who are bored with where they are at, and they're not happy with where they are, but they are also at the same time not willing to let go of where they are, right? I feel like, for instance, there are so many people that are in relationships where these relationships are toxic, or maybe these relationships are just not bringing, bringing them the same time 
type of joy that they used to have. But instead of letting go of their old partners, they decide to stay in these relationships that are not happy, that is not making them excited anymore. Because they are afraid of being alone, they are afraid of having to start over and try to find somebody to be in a relationship with them, right? And I feel like whereas these people, they are so afraid about letting go of the old to go after something new, they are so afraid of the unknown that they just stay in these places, they stay stuck, right? And I feel like people are jealous of you because with this Six of Swords energy coming through, I feel like you are the exact opposite of this. If you are in any relationships that are not bringing you any joy, if you are in a partnership where you are not happy anymore, if you are in a job where you're just not excited, you are the type of person who you are not afraid to let go of these things so that you can step into the unknown, so that you can go after these new and incredible opportunities and people wish that they could have that same amount of courage that you seem to have and I'm also getting the idea that this ten of pentacles excuse me guys I think that this is also representing how you are somebody who uh, you are just going to be so successful because the ten of pentacles literally talks about success it talks about being very wealthy and having so much wealth that you can not only provide for yourself but provide for your family as well and so I'm getting the idea that people see you as somebody who you are going to accomplish so much and that doesn't come to any surprise to me because like I said you are the type of person who you are able to always see the brighter side of every single situation you know exactly what you deserve you know that you you can do absolutely anything you set your mind on and so I feel like because you don't put any type of boundaries against yourself because you believe that you can accomplish so many amazing things I think that you are going to accomplish these amazing things and people you know they look at you and they see that you are going to do so many great things with your life they see you as somebody who is going to be very successful they see you as somebody who is going to make the most of of your life and make the most of the opportunities that you are given and they see you as somebody who you are just a few steps away from being so wealthy from being so successful and I think that people are a little bit jealous of you because they wish that they could have that same success they wish that they could have these same opportunities right and then at the end of the day with the king of swords energy coming through I really am getting the idea that you just come off as somebody who is so intelligent I think that you are also somebody who is really fun to talk to. You always have so many interesting and cool things to say. And I think that people wish that they could have your same type of like witty demeanor. They wish that they could be as... Um, witty and charming as you are right and that is definitely something that is coming through and with this page of cups you know the page of cups this literally talks about somebody who is like a friend to everyone so i am getting the idea that again i think that First of all, you have a lot of friends in your life. You have a lot of people that are backing you up. You have this huge tribe of people who are here for you. And that is definitely something that people are jealous of. They wish that they could have the same friends that you have, the same family members that you have because of the fact that they are so encouraging. They are so just that there's such a force of good within your life but I am also getting the idea that you are able to attract so many new friends as well and I feel like for some of you guys since this is a very general reading you know you may not have a huge group of friends you may not have a big support group but I think that you are somebody who you have this amazing personality you are so witty and charming you're just so fun to be around that I feel like no matter where you go you can find and attract these new friends you can attract the tribe that you want and you can create these amazing friend groups who you who will like encourage you and be so positive towards you I think that people are jealous of you because they wish that they could have that same personality that same charm they wish that they could have this ability to be able to just go anywhere and make all these amazing friends right and I think that that is really interesting to see so let's go ahead and get some extra cards well 
guys we have so many cards coming through okay let's get uh just some few more cards okay spirit for group three can we get some extra oracle cards what are people jealous of when it comes to them spirit what are people jealous of when it comes to them can we just get a couple more cards if it wants to come through there we go yes guys oh my goodness that makes so much sense oh my gosh this is literally like exactly what i was saying in a nutshell so first of all we have emotional drainer we have uncertainty coming through we have creation and purity and then we also have artist mystic priest and we also have angel okay guys so first of all you know what i was saying how this is our reading in a nutshell well that is these two cards and also even the creation card as well so guys like i said we had emotional drainer uncertainty and creation so i really think that this is coming through again to represent how you are the type of person who you know exactly what you deserve you are not uncertain at all like you are certain in the fact that you are amazing you are a freaking god goddess you are incredible and you deserve to live an incredible life you deserve to be surrounded by incredible people as well you know exactly what it is that you deserve to have and you are not afraid to go after these incredible things to go after these incredible people to go after this incredible life and I think that with emotional drainer coming through you are also not afraid to say goodbye to people who are not treating you in the incredible way that you deserve to be treated you are not afraid to let go of jobs that are draining you that are not bringing you any joy to go after a new job that will make you so happy that will bring you so much passion you are not afraid to just get up and like move like say you are at a house and you're not happy there you're not afraid to pack your bags and go somewhere else right and I think that people just see you and they see how you are literally creating the life that you want to live you are living your best life and you're creating the best life imaginable and they are jealous of you because they wish that they could have that same certainty they wish that they could have that courage that you seem to have in space they wish that they were not afraid to let go of these people to let go of these jobs they wish that they could step outside of their comfort zone and do these things like you are doing but for some reason they feel like they can't do these things or that there's something holding them back and they are jealous of you because you are just living your best life and they wish that they could also live their best life as well right and then with the angel card and purity coming through and also priest i think that this is really funny to see um it's really interesting to see because whenever I think of angels, you know, the angels are very, very pure, right? They're very innocent, very kind, very sweet. So I, I'm kind of getting the idea that I feel like you are somebody, especially with the mystic card, I think that you are a very spiritual person and, you know, you could be somebody who you believe in God or you don't, maybe you're an atheist or whatnot, but I feel like whether you realize it or not, you have this like spiritual way about you. And I think that this spiritual energy is the fact that, again, it's like you are manifesting the life of your dreams. It's like you are somebody who you are able to just trust that you are on the right path and that you are being led in the direction that you need to be led in. And you are not afraid to step into the unknown to do things that other people are too afraid to do because you have this trust in yourself. You have this trust that so long as you are a good person that good things will come towards you and in the process you are just attracting and manifesting the life of your dreams and I think that people wish that they could have that same trust that you have they wish that they could look at the world and see nothing but good things that you see right and I'm also just getting the idea that you are somebody who 
I feel like you are very kind to people. I'm honestly getting the idea with the angel card. You are always there to help anybody. You know, that especially is making so much sense with the Ten of Pentacles coming through. Because if you look at this card, like, it looks as though this person is reaching out their hand to help this other person, right, who is in need. And I think that you are the type of person who you are always there for people who are going through harder times, you are always there to help them. And I'm honestly getting the idea that I feel like people are jealous of the friends who you have because I feel like there are so many people that wish that they could have somebody like you in their life. And I think that that is really interesting to see. That's really cool to see because honestly, this message is so unique. It's completely different from the other two groups, but... Instead of people being jealous of you, I think that they are jealous of the people who you hang out with. Because I really think that there are just so many people that wish that they could be friends with you. They wish that they could have somebody like you in their life. Because they feel like if they had somebody like you, then they could also do anything. They could manifest the life of their dreams. They feel like if they are around somebody as positive and kind and loving as you, then they will be able to attract and live a very very positive and amazing and incredible life as well right and then at the end of the day with the artist card this is really beautiful to see because it says right here expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses inspiring others to see life symbolically it's getting the idea that I feel like you are the type of person who you look at the world and you just see it in such a different way and manner than other people see it right and I think that this is again just talking about how you are able to see all the good things in life. I feel like even whenever you are going through the darkest moments ever, you are still able to look at the world and see the light that is shining in it. You can see that light at the end of the tunnel and people wish that they could also have that same way of seeing things, right? People are jealous of you because whilst they are going through these darkest moments within their life and they can't see any light, they are just stuck in this sad version of their life. Like you are the type of person who you could go through the same exact thing and instead of being scared and only able to see the darkness and the shadows you are somebody who you can see the light you can see all the good things that are awaiting you you are just somebody who you are always so optimistic about the future and it's like you wear these love goggles you are just looking at the world and you don't see the world as a cup half full you see it as a cup half full no, no, sorry. You don't see the cup as half empty. You see the cup as half filled, right? And so you are just able to see the world in such a beautiful way and people wish that they could see it like that as well because they feel like if they did see things in the way that you do, then their life would be so much more easier their life would be so much more amazing and they would be able to live the life that you are living right and i am definitely getting the idea that you are living a good one whether you realize it or not you are living such an incredible life and that is what people see when they see you that is what they think whenever they are around you they just see you as somebody who is living the best life ever and that is why they are jealous of you right so yes guys that is the end of your reading today I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of Terror Tube again sometime okay. So I love you all so much from the bottom of my heart and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day friends okay. Mwah. Bye guys.